Yo, what's up guys? It's Kobe. Finally back. Been a while. I've been pretty busy lately and I'm sure some of you guys are too, just with school and whatever. But I'm back and today I have a pretty interesting video for you guys and it's actually going to be my first video talking about Call of Duty Ghosts. And I've been holding off on making videos about it because, well for one, we really have no confirmed information about anything really. And I'm not just going to make videos just to make them and just get a bunch of views or whatever. And also, I know some boxes have been completely spammed with ghost videos, like, especially a week ago, so I didn't want to add to that spam, but now I think it's calmed down a little bit so we can come out here and talk. So what I want to talk about today was the very real possibility that COD Ghost will not be an Xbox exclusive game, but heavily catered to Xbox. And I know with the past couple Call of Duties, DLC always comes out for the Xbox first, that's just the deal Activision has with Microsoft. However, I'm thinking something even more severe where the actual game comes out for Xbox first. Now I have a few reasons why I think this may happen, so as you guys know, next Tuesday, the 21st, the new Xbox will be revealed, and I'm sure you guys also know we should be getting a full reveal of COD Ghost during that same presentation. They're not really teaming up, but Activision will probably have their little moment to promote their game during that Xbox event. And what I think is that it's not only Activision using Xbox to promote their game, I think Microsoft plans on using COD Ghost to promote their new console, and that can be a big problem for the you guys planning on purchasing the PS4 and playing the next Call of Duty on that. Xbox and PS4 release dates are probably going to be around the same time frame, so there's going to be a lot of competition to get those sales from people wanting to get the next gen console. They're going to do whatever it takes to out promote each other and obviously outsell each other, and COD Ghost can play a huge role in doing just that. So let's just say someone, or just you and me, really want to get the next gen console, we're really excited, and we also plan on playing Ghost on that same console, and we are completely neutral, we like Xbox and PS3 the same, it doesn't really matter, we just want a next gen console and the game. Well, if Microsoft cuts a deal with Activision to delay the sale of Ghost on other consoles, and release it on the new Xbox first, imagine how many more sales the console will get. Now obviously that would hurt Activision sales, but as we've seen with the DLCs, if Microsoft puts out money, Activision has no problem with delaying releases. And with something so big like the next gen consoles, I'm sure Microsoft is willing to put out quite a bit of money towards that. So you know, that would obviously suck, especially for you PlayStation guys out there, but I want to take it one step further. What if Microsoft gets activated to delay the releases of the game even to current gen consoles? Because we already know that the game is going to be out for the 360 and the PS3, so what if they delay the release for those as well, just so more people spend the money and get the new Xbox rather than just buying the game for their current console? As crappy as that would be, I can honestly see that as a possibility. But again, I think the only way for that to happen is if Activision signs a contract with Microsoft for a boatload of money that would then counter the loss in sales. But based on what happened in the past with the DLC releases, and even in the future with Tuesday's Xbox event, I think something of this nature could possibly happen. But the one variable of that is, would more people actually be buying the new Xbox? Let me know down below for you personally, if you could get COD Ghost a month earlier, would it be worth it for you to buy the new Xbox, especially for you PS3 guys? Would you convert to Xbox if you could get the game earlier, as well as the map packs and DLC earlier as well? I don't think all that many PlayStation players would go ahead and buy the new Xbox, that's just my opinion, but every year the hype of the new COD just decreases more and more, and I'm guessing the new consoles are going to be really expensive, so unless you have just a ton of extra cash laying around, you know, then yeah, you'd get it, but just for normal casual gamers, I could see them just waiting or just not even buying it at all. But again, that's just my opinion, let me know what you think down below, and I'll definitely be reading through all those comments. But yeah, that's it for this commentary. Remember, next Tuesday is the Xbox reveal event, so make sure you guys check that out. It'll just be right on the Xbox dashboard. And if you're on PS3, I'll probably post some of the highlights for you guys, just the really important stuff, especially the new COD Ghosts. But if you can, make sure to catch it live, I'm sure it'll be really cool. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.